Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel So, uh, may nagtanong po sa previous video natin, no? may nagtanong sa comment section below Yung question niya po is, ano po ba ang dapat gawin uh, kapag hindi mo alam yung sagot? No? So, thank you very much po doon sa question, uh, that's a very very good question uh, Kaya lang yung challenge po doon is, hindi ko po alam kung anong klaseng tanong ang dapat nating sagutin at uh, siguro pag may specific question ka Mas lalo kita at mas madali kita matutulungan However, kasi naranasan ko rin dati Nung bago pa lang ako tapos nag-a-apply uh, Marami pong mga question na hindi ko naiintindihan So, uh, earlier I did a little bit research sa YouTube din po May napanood akong video ni Career Vid siguro yon uh, Magandang video po yung mga tips niya no? So, in case po na kapag talaga hindi nyo alam yung sagot Uh, option 1 niya is The pinakasimple po Is number 1 uh, To be honest And then sabihin mo na ibibigay mo yung answer Pagkatapos ng interview sa email niya No, that is very very good and very very powerful Although, yung isa na nakita ko is Pag nag-intro niya, sinasabi niya na To be honest Which is, I will not highly recommend na sabihin yung to be honest Kasi pag sinabi niyo yun, para sinabi mo lang na So earlier you were you were not honest no? Ngayon ka lang naging honest. So wag po nating gamitin yung to be honest. Okay? Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, for example po tinanong ka ng interviewer na how do you handle irate customers or irate callers? Ah, uh, uh, irate callers tapos hindi mo alam no? Ah, uh, ganito po yung isasagot ko or isang simpleng sagot na kaya mo ring gayahin. Na sasabihin ko po is uh, thank you very much for that question sir. That is a very good question. But I do not know the answer for now So I will send the answer directly to your email Right after this interview That is all So yun po yung isang uh, simpleng sagot Na maaari mong isagot Pwede mo rin uh, pong kopyain uh, Once again po, huwag niyo pong uh, sabihin to be honest Kasi ano eh Traits po ng call center agent na dapat honest tayo palagi So dapat before pala ng interview At during the interview Honest ka because honesty is the best policy. So, wag mo nang sabihin to be honest. No? Maging proud ka sa mga sagot mo. No? Dapat kasi lahat ng sagot mo, ah, honest ka na eh. No? Wag mo sabihin to be honest kanina, hindi ka pala honest. No? Parang ganun. No? Now, going back po doon sa kay Career Beats, may isa pa po siyang option, which is yung option 3. Napakaganda po ng option 3. Kaya lang yung tactics niya is medyo advanced po ito. Parang ginawa niya po yung idea is uh, situational tapos observational. No, balik po tayo sa unang question ko For example, uh, how do you handle irate callers? Tapos, eh, hindi mo pa na-experience maging call center agent O wala kang customer service na experience So, ganito po yung sasagot ko uh, Once again, thank you so much for that question That is a great question I have not have any customer service experience before But, I did a lot of research on YouTube And I saw how to handle irate callers. First, I would be calm and acknowledge the customer's problem. And then I will empathize, sympathize, and build rapport to gain the customer's trust. And then I'll do whatever I can to resolve the customer's issue in a professional manner. And that is all. Now also guys, I highly suggest po na do your research in advance para siyempre madagdagan po yung call center IQ natin. Para mas malaki po yung chances natin na makasagot sa mga call center, uh, call center interview. Also, I do highly recommend you watch my call center interview tips on my YouTube channel there. Uh, kung may mga tanong ka pa, put it down in the comment section below. Message me on, Facebook, on my Facebook page, Kuya Nick. And with that being said, I wish you best of luck to your success.